What's good, everyone? This is Raw Truth Media giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Please like and share this video throughout all social media platforms. And today we're going to talk about FAMU and the missing piece. Last year, FAMU was 9 2. Now, if you talk to most FAMU fans, even with that record, which is a, I mean, you can't complain with 9 2, but. A team like FAMU, who has a lot of history, not winning the SWAC, not going to the Celebration Bowl, and winning the Celebration Bowl, they deem that as a failure, even though they did a lot of great things. And you guys know how much I respect Coach Willie Simmons. I think he's a damn good coach. But last year, there were some games. If you look back at it now, can be the blueprint of this season. Sometimes your losses can motivate you to greater heights. And FAMU could be that team where certain losses, they lost two games, they lost to North Carolina, which was a valiant effort. And they played so hard, it was admirable. I think a lot of people in the HBCU community watched that on ESPN. And they had a lot of players ineligible. And they kept fighting, they kept fighting. When they lost to Jackson State 59-0, let's be real, everyone was shocked because of the performance they had against North Carolina. They come out against Jackson State and just get blasted. But this year, this could be FAMU's most talented team in years. Scratch that, it's already that on paper. From high school commits to transfer portal players, they kept all their players in. They're one of the few teams that not have a bunch of players transfer out, which is great. And it shows stability. Don't count out the late additions that each team will have in the swag. Well, all of the NCA, there's always that one great addition. And who would fam you pick up later on? You know they're going to pick up somebody talented. But I, I wanted to make this video to talk about the one thing that needs to get rectified. That's the offensive line position. I'm letting you know right now, the offensive line position is going to be the most improved positions on this team. Cardell Thomas, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, family, 6'4", 250, 260 plus. Some say 6'5". Former five-star of LSU. He's going to beast in the swag. His built, his strength, his tenacity. Yeah, not, not a lot of defensive lines can handle that. And the running backs from last year from FAMU, they were talented. I know the rushing yards didn't fully equate to that, but skill level, I thought they were pretty more than exceptional. I thought Jalen McLeod, Terrell Jennings, and A.J. Davis had the skills to produce. It's just that it didn't uh, work to their favor. If you look at the average rushing yards from, let me start with A.J. Davis and Terrell Jennings. A.J. Davis ran four yards per carry. That's not bad at all. And Terrell Jennings rushed for 4.2 yards per carry. The, only, the lowest one was Jalen McLeod, which was 3.9 yards per carry. That's normal. So those are not bad rushing yards. I think... They did not, meaning FAMU, run the ball enough. There was times that FAMU was getting a little pass happy. And one thing I want Jeremy Musa to do is to not lock on his number one target. Jeremy Musa, a uh, smart guy, precision quarterback, but at times he tends to, you know, that's the, the go-to receiver. You always go to that guy. And the number one receiver's, they love when a quarterback does that. But if you want to win games, he's got to distribute the ball equally. He's got to make sure defenses don't know who he's going to throw to. Because the worst thing to a passing offense is when you te telegraph. And I'm telling you this. If the offensive line is what I think it should be, and the offensive coordinator divide uh, provide ways to run the ball more efficiently, 
then the 10 interceptions that Jeremy Musa had last year, it could be less than that. You never know. It could be four to five interceptions, which is a big difference in college football. I will also want Jeremy Musa to improve his passion, passing completion. He only had 57%. This is a challenge to Musa. If he could raise that to 63, 65%, that can change things. But I'm letting you know right now, the running game will be improved. That's why I don't bring up last year with teams when I'm evaluating for this year so much because you never know what they're going to look like. You don't know what player, whether it's a high school, a recruit, or a transfer like Jaquez Yant from Nebraska. You don't know if he could come in. And what if he turns up this swag season? He's a powerful back. And you look at his yards at Nebraska and say, oh, he only had 300 yards of the season. In the Big Ten, that's not too bad. At least he's played. Not all transfer portal players have to be superstars. If they have played in the FBS in games, they could be a, a backup or a starter, whatever. That bodes well. And then they got receivers like uh, Jamar Gassett, who has played for Buffalo. What if he has a breakout season? You just don't know. What if, and I know JSU fans are listening, shout out to JSU, Robert Lockhart III, what if he becomes that impact freshman? He has the speed, and even though he's 5'6", 5'7", I'm going to say 5'6", he looks 5'6", he can outrun anybody. I am so excited for the fall season. Willie Simmons, hey, you got a talented team. All you have to do, and I'm not going to say you're going to go undefeated, but if you would like to go undefeated, or if you just want to overall just win the SWAC and win the Celebration Bowl, ball control offense, run the ball, don't rely on the passing game, don't lock, like I said, on the number one target, spread it equally, and watch what I tell you. That is the formula. And I wouldn't be surprised if Willie Simmons is telling his team that in meetings. If we just improve on these things, that's what he's telling his team. We can get there. I promise you that's what he's telling his team. But you let me know what fam you needs to work on and what do you project this team doing next season. This is Raw Truth Media giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Like and share this video throughout all social media platforms. And I'm out.